element. Most scientists believe that our universe is actually expanded. This belief is based on a really interesting property of light waves called the Doppler effect. The Doppler effect is when a source of light, like a solar galaxy, is moving towards you, the light will be squished, making the wavelength shorter and the light look bluish. Likewise, if it goes away from you, the light will switch off and start to have a lower frequency. And since red is at the low frequency end of the visible spectrum, the light from a receding star will be red shifted. And because all the galaxies are showing a red shift in the color of the light, that means that they move away from one another, which proves the expansion of the universe. Finally, we can return to the original question, which is, since the universe is expanding, what is it expanding into? The answer will be simple, although very, very, very unsatisfying. The answer is... nothing. <coughs> First, let me begin by saying that the word expanding is a really bad word to describe what is happening, because it leads to a lot of unnecessary confusion, knowing that it's already a difficult topic. The way we normally think of the word, if an object like a balloon is expanding, then it occupies more space at later time than it did at early time, and that's not what physicists actually mean. According to scientists, the universe is infinite, so it doesn't need anything in order to expand. Talking about infinity is always complicated, but a good analogy can be made with simple math. Imagine you have a list of numbers, 1, 2, 3, 4, all the way up to infinity. And then you multiply every number by 2. So now you have 4, 6, 8, all the way up to 50. The distance between adjacent number has stretched. It's now 2 instead of 1. But can you really say the total extent of all your numbers has expanded? You started off with numbers that went up to infinity. And you finished with numbers that went up to infinity too. So the total size is the same. If these numbers represent the distances between galaxies in infinite universe, then it's a good analogy for why the universe is actually stretching instead of expanding. Galaxies are in some sense stationary, however, as time goes on, the space between them stretched. Sort of like what happens when you take a piece of elastic and try to stretch it on both ends. The black marks, which present the galaxies, didn't move, but the distance between them has been increasing. Finally, it's fair to ask how can a universe which starts from a singularity be infinite? This is an interesting question that has huge implications for math, physics, and cosmology. Because when we talk about infinity, we talk about the absence of limits. And since the universe was a singularity before, then it can expand toward infinity, but it can never reach it. Because infinity does not have limits. 